Hey everyone, uh, today what we've done is I went to uh, Dollarama and bought this and I bought two of these and yeah just from Dollarama it was like maybe eight bucks for that and then what Maria's done she went to Sobeys and she's picked up this which is Lots of sunflower seeds in it and corn and pretty big chunks and it looks like it has a picture of the Blue Jays on it. So, yeah. So then, we also got this really big bag of bird feed and it's, uh, it has, again, lots of sunflower seeds in it and a little bit of corn. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, one of these ones that I bought. So I'm going to start with this one here and I'm going to open it and I have used this stuff before to uh, pack in my bird feeder at my camp so I'm do this. I'm just going to empty it in here and what I found it's, it's pretty mushy and all that. We'll try to get the most out of this. Yeah, you can see it's like kind of a mush here. It's uh, doesn't look that appetizing for me, but then again for birds. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one because it has less uh, sunflower seeds in it. And I'm going to mix the two together. So not quite, maybe half and half, I guess. Maybe two thirds to a third. Yeah, I, I don't want to over mix it. So let's just start with that. See if I can wash it all down together into it to make a, one package. So you can see it's pretty broken up. Give it a good stir around. Yeah, so mixing uh, two birds' feeds together should hopefully make a good, I'm going to call it a blue jay food, because there's more blue jays than anything down at my camp. And I know the bunting birds there, they also, they really like this stuff. And it is Saturday, March 9th, and... I am on my way down there. This is probably the last thing I have to prep before I go down there. So I know all those birds are waiting for me. So yeah, I give them a special treat. I do now consider them my pets. So I'll add a little bit more to it. A little bit. So also what I'm going to do is, this is mainly for the uh, the bird feeder, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down this other package here, and I'm going to keep that down there, and I'm just going to place a lot of it in front of the, the trail cam so we get a lot of uh, bird, bird footage, let's call it. And I'm just trying to get all the clumps out of this so you can see. The progress that I'm making on this is coming along pretty good. And I think I'm going to add a little bit more. That's almost half that package went into there. 
So I still think it's pretty good that I can mush it into the uh, a little bird feeder that I made out of a piece of wood. Probably about 10 years ago I did that. And it's actually apple tree, so what I should do is make some more. Because it, uh, it's pretty natural to the environment down there. And, you know, to buy just a, a bird feeder is kind of unnatural, so I like keeping it. Most, most nature as you can be, so. Oops. All right, so there. It actually kind of looks like a good cereal now, eh? Maybe we call it a vector mix. That's what we'll call it, vector. Vector for birds. How's that? All right. You guys can uh, stay tuned for some, uh, hopefully some bird footage coming up. Well, I'm gonna actually show you how I put all this nice bird food in the feeder. And like I was showing you earlier, how I made this at home, mixed it up with some other stuff, so. There's a good stir stick I have here, so. Yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put it in these holes. Mash it right in there. And go on to the next hole. Yeah, like I was saying, I made this, uh, this is ap actually apple wood for my backyard. And I drilled some holes in it probably over 10 years ago. So I'm actually thinking of, hey, making some more. And having a few of these down here just to attract more birds. Right, yeah, so that was pretty easy. Rake up the rest here. Yeah, so like I said, I'm gonna, I like hanging it way up high in the tree here, and that way, um, no other animals get to it other than birds, because you never know, squirrels or, or Raccoons could come around, but uh, yeah, we'll see how this goes. Well, there it is, hanging about uh, four feet off the ground. So hopefully uh, pretty shortly the birds will come around. I haven't seen any birds since I've been down here this afternoon. So yeah, hopefully the, uh, the birds come around soon. Stay tuned.
well good afternoon happy sunday to everybody uh just want to thank everybody for uh watching all my uh chow cam videos i really appreciate that and so again i have my uh two trail cams set up here and i'm on my way home to check these uh pictures out so yeah thanks again uh everybody for watching my videos and i really appreciate it and Happy uh, daylight savings, you know, kind of missing an hour today. So, yeah, thanks uh, for watching, everybody. Ciao for now.